I wanted to give you another alternative for solving systems of equations. So far we've looked at how to solve a system like this one in two ways. One was by substitution and the other by elimination. And as you can see, this one's a really good candidate for using elimination. You can get rid of the y's just by adding the two equations together and so on. Then we'll get 11x's is a negative 11 and that would give us a negative 1 for the x. Good. Substitute that in find out that y is 3. So our solution, we already know to this one, is negative 1 and 3. But I wanted to show you a different way using determinants of matrices in order to solve this equation. And then I'll, I want to take a second to show you why it's important. First, what is a matrix? A matrix is any array of uh, rows and columns of numbers. And in fact, our matrix will be a 3 by 2 matrix of equations where we use our coefficients and our constants for each row. We can use a figure called the determinant. If we can create this matrix into a 2 by 2 matrix, then we can discover the determinant by multiplying across AD and subtracting from that the um, product of B and C. That will give us the determinant of the matrix. Now why is that important for us and for solving our systems of equations? Well, when we have a system of equations, then our solution will always be, if it has a solution, the determinant of the x divided by a common determinant and the determinant of the y divided by the same common determinant. Let's just see what that means. Our 3 by 2 matrix here using just the coefficients looks like 9, 5, and that'll be the equal sign 6, then we'll have 2, negative 5, and then the negative 17 to the right of the equal sign. And what we want to do is we want to find the base determinant. Let's do this in blue. We want to find the base determinant, which will give us this here. Then we want to find the determinant of x, which will give us, it'll use these two columns, although this one needs to be switched. Need to be switched. And then we also need to find the determinant of y, which will be this column and this column again. So let's take a look at what that means. I have a little bit of a mess here, but let's let's check it out. Um, the determinant here will just be our 9, 2, 5, and negative 5. We'll use that as our divisor, or, or yeah, our divisor um, for the ratio of d of x divided by d, d of y divided by d. Then our d of x will be. We're not going to use this nine and two because that's what we want to find. So we're going to replace that with our six and negative seventeen, and we'll keep our five and negative five. And finally, for our d of y, we are this time going to use the 9 and 2 because we want to find that the y, so we'll leave that one, we'll leave the y's out of it. But again, we'll take that 6 and negative 17, and um, that will replace our y's. So now I have three 2 by 2 matrices that I'm going to use the determinants from. Now remembering that the determinants are the a times the d minus the c times the b, I can just multiply these two numbers and then subtract the product of those two numbers. So what I've got is a negative 45 minus 10, which gives me a negative 55. My d sub x will be these two numbers multiplied. these two numbers multiplied, subtract these two numbers multiplied. So I'll have a negative six, a 6 times a negative 5 will give me a negative 30 
minus a negative 85. 5 times 17 is 85. And negative times a positive is a negative, which will be negative 30 plus 85 or a positive 55. And then for our d sub y, we're going to multiply these two numbers and then subtract those two numbers there. So 9 times 17 will give us a 153, 153, and that will be negative. And then from that, we're going to subtract a 6 times 2, which is 12. So 153 negative minus 12 is negative 165. Now our solution should be d of x divided by d and d of y divided by d. So we'll have our d of x is 55 divided by our d was a negative 55 and then our y should be negative 165 divided by a negative 55 and that should be our d of y. So 55 divided by negative 55 that's not that hard that's a negative 1 and then negative divided by negative is a positive and 165 divided by 55 gives us a 3 and that will be the solution to our equation and it matches what we had up there the solution to our equation